Привет! Меня зовут Логан, и я из Америки. И сегодня мой, а, я расскажу вам о политическом сленг, а, используем а, в США. А, это канал Puzzle English Live. Our first expression has a darker history. Um, it concerns uh, how leadership might misguide followers, and um, we and we use uh, the phrase "don't drink the Kool Aid" uh, to tell people to think for themselves. So Jim Jones. The phrase comes from Jim Jones, and Jim Jones was a cult leader who uh, gave his followers a sweet drink, Kool-Aid, laced with cyanide. Several hundred people died. So it was a very dark situation. Many people died. So think for yourself. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. Smile. It's Kool-Aid. Our next concept follows the theme of truth and possibility in politics and especially what is regarded as real. Um, in the movie The Matrix, there is a very famous scene where Lawrence Fishburne sits down with Keanu Reeves, and he talks about choices. You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Um, he provides Keanu Reeves with two paths. He can take the blue pill, and he continue, can continue being blue-pilled and accept what society tells him, even though he sees things that are wrong. He doesn't know how to put them together. That is being blue-pilled. If you are red-pilled, if you take the red pill, then you, can have, then you can put things together. Then you can find a way to really see reality, and you can escape the cave that Plato might talk about with the allegory of the cave. Um, but in all of this, you still must be careful not to drink some Kool-Aid along the way and be misguided into something just as bad as it, what you were following before. So important concepts. Okay, so our next term can basically fall into the general area of aesthetics, aesthetics, art. Um, when something is especially distasteful, disgusting, ugly, or just generally embarrassing, um, whether it's a, an act or something that you see on TV, whatever, it's called cringe or cringe-worthy. Um, some easy examples that can follow. Uh, there is a very famous show called The Office. The Office embraces cringe, and it makes the viewer very anxious whenever it watches these things because it's an un uncomfortable ex uh, experience to go through, but it's funny because it's ridiculous. So another example of cringe in politics um, could be taking a bit too much uh, happiness out of someone's death. So, for instance, in 2014, thereabouts, um, Hillary Clinton was uh, in a discussion in the news, and she was discussing uh, Gaddafi and uh, his death. And um, in that interview, she used the, fr the phrase, we came, we saw, he died, and then she laughed. This is usually considered impolite to laugh at someone's death. So we could call this cringe, cringeworthy. That's cringe, Hillary. You probably shouldn't have said that in public. Just an idea. Another concept in American politics uh, basically concerns our advertising industry and our public relations industry. Um, in American politics, we can all see whether something happens. We can all agree that it happens. Um, but it is the job of spin doctors to take that fact and distort it in order for it to convey, to, to meet the needs of an organization. Um, spin is also a concept that's tied with spin doctors. Spin, doc spin is when you selectively lie or selectively tell a truth in order to advance a political agenda. Our last example basically concerns when someone goes and does something evil or morally and ethically wrong. Um, in that case, we would say, he's gone to the dark side. She's gone to the dark side. They finally joined such and such that they didn't like. 
oh, you were an environmentalist and you went and joined ExxonMobil. Of course, she has gone to the dark side. This is also a reference to Star Wars, of course. I have failed you, Anakin. I have failed you. So you have the very classic good and evil kind of clash. So that's a lot of the kind of imagery. But he went to the dark side. She's gone to the dark side. You can also use this expression in a uh, affectionate way. Um, she likes pickles. So she's already on the dark side because pickles are terrible, awful, bad. You should never eat them. Truly, really, really bad food. So I'd really like to thank everyone for watching and I really hope all of you enjoyed listening in about American political language today. So don't forget to like and subscribe and make, make absolutely sure, subscribe to Puzzle English Live. It's very important. Thanks again, everyone. It's a party animal. No, 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 no.